Hello, 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 lovely yogi. Welcome to my channel if you have not been here before and welcome back if you are one of those lovely people who is here every week. This is going to be a long, challenging, advanced, intermediate vinyasa flow with a focus on compass pose. So if you don't know what that is yet, you will be very familiar with it by the end of this class. We'll be doing reclined, seated, standing, flying compass, really good opener for the side of the body for the legs. It's a challenging but fun pose. If you have not already, please do take a second to subscribe to my channel, leave a thumbs up on this video if you make it to the end and you did enjoy it, and please do leave a comment letting me know what you thought of it when you reach the end. I would be so grateful for that. So without further ado, make your way onto your mat. We will begin today on our backs. So any shape that you would like to make that is comfortable for you, I'm going to bring the soles of the feet to the outside edges of the mat and let my knees fall inwards. It's a nice one for the lower back. You can shimmy the shoulder blades towards one another to create some space across the chest. Maybe tuck the chin in ever so slightly to find some length down the back of the neck. And just take a moment to set aside whatever you were doing before this class, whatever you've got lined up after this class, and just completely surrender yourself to this class, to this time that you've taken for yourself and be fully present in the here and the now. Knowing that there is going to be a lot of movement in this class so for now just enjoy a few moments of stillness to connect to your body and to connect to your breath. Taking a little body scan, noticing any places that feel particularly tense or tight, just letting your awareness drift from place to place, letting it rest in each of those spaces. And maybe you find as you bring your awareness there, that tension maybe just starts to soften a little bit. Feeling completely supported by the surface beneath you. Feeling the parts of the body that are connecting to the earth. Feeling that grounding, that support, that foundation, which allows you to then soften and relax and be still. Noticing how alive the body feels right now. Are you feeling full of energy to use in this practice? Or maybe you're feeling a bit tired and you need to cultivate some energy. Now letting your awareness drift to wherever the breath is most prominent for you right now. Where can you feel the breath most clearly? Is it at the nose, the mouth, the throat, the chest, the belly? Wherever it is, just guiding your awareness there and letting it rest in awareness for a few deep breaths. You might find that as you bring that awareness to the breath, it starts to become a little bit smoother, a bit longer, a bit deeper. Throughout this class, I will encourage you to breathe in and out through the nose if that feels comfortable for you. Trying to send the breath all the way down into the belly, filling up the entire torso from top to bottom left to right, front to back, every inhale, lifting, filling, rising, and every exhale, softening, releasing, falling, releasing as much air as you can to then create space for the next fresh breath of air to move in. Finally, a check in with your mind today. How are you feeling mentally, emotionally? No right or wrong answers, just noticing how you feel. 
And with all the information you've just gathered about the body, the breath, the mind, using that to inform how you move through this practice today. Maybe you challenge yourself, maybe you're kind to yourself. So bringing that awareness, setting that intention. If they're not already, bring the feet to plant at the outside edges of the mat, knees fall in towards one another, and then start to windshield wipe the legs from side to side, rocking them over from left to right. Just starting to wake up the body, bring some movement in. You might find with each windshield wipe, you get the knees a little bit further each time. Maybe they, wake, they make it all the way down to the earth. Come back through center, extend the left leg out long, hug the right knee in towards the chest, bring the hands to interlace around the shin, and then pull that left knee up and in towards the left armpit. You might even hook it in the crook of the right elbow. Maybe take some circles with that right ankle going in both directions. Bring the hands to interlace around the sole of that right foot, really draw the thigh down towards the earth, the knee in towards the armpit, and imagine pushing that foot up towards the sky. So the hands are drawing down as the foot presses away, feeling into the hips. Keep the right hand on the foot, extend the left arm out to the side and start to straighten the right leg out to the right hand side, stretching through the hamstring and the inner thigh, drawing that foot up towards the top right corner of the mat, trying to keep the left hip grounded into the earth. Now start to bring that right foot up overhead, bring the left hand to the outside of the right foot, the pinky toe side, guide the right foot over to the left hand side, taking it into a twist, extending the right arm straight out to the side. And then come back through centre, bring the right leg up towards the sky, sole of the foot points upwards, foot is flexed, bring the hands to interlace around the back of the leg, maybe start to slide them up towards the ankle as you draw the right knee towards the face. Again, keeping the shoulders and the hips rooted into the earth. Maybe bend and straighten the leg, maybe make those circles with the ankle again. And release, extend the right leg out long. Take a moment here, just bring all of the awareness into the legs. Noticing how each leg feels. Maybe one leg feels a bit longer or a bit lighter than the other now that we've worked on one side and are about to move on to the other. As you're ready, hug the left knee up and in towards the chest, hands around the shin, maybe even hook it into the left elbow. Circles with the ankle in both directions. Really squeeze it up and in. And then bring the hands to interlace around the sole of the foot, draw the knee towards the earth, push the sole of the foot up towards the sky. Keeping the face, the neck, the shoulders nice and soft, even while the upper body is engaged here. Extend the right arm out to the side. Keep the grip on the left foot with the left hand as you straighten the leg out towards the top left corner of the mat. You might even bring the right hand onto the right hip to help keep that hip nice and grounded here. Start to bring that leg back through center. Right hand to the pinky toe side of the left foot. Take the left foot over to the right hand side, coming into a nice supine twist. Grounding down through both shoulder blades, letting the gaze fall wherever is comfortable. Bring it back through center, hands interlace around the back of the left leg. Maybe they work up towards the ankle as you draw the, th the thigh. Yeah, the thigh. I was gonna say the thin, I was gonna say the thigh and the shin, which came out as thin. <laughs> the thigh in towards the face. Again, any movements or maybe finding stillness if that feels like what you need right now. Release that left leg out long, left foot comes to meet the right. 
Again, noticing how the legs feel. Maybe they feel a bit more similar now that we've worked both sides. Interlace the fingers, press the palms up and away from you overhead. Take a full body stretch all the way from head to toe. Let it feel good. And then hug both knees into the chest, hands onto the shins. Rock yourself forwards and backwards, rocking and rolling a few times eventually working your way up to a comfortable seated position. Bring the hands to interlace around the back of the neck, elbows point out towards the sides. As you inhale, open the heart, lift the chest up towards the sky. Exhale, draw the chin into the chest, round the spine. Inhale, draw the shoulder blades down and back, separate the elbows. Exhale, draw the elbows in towards one another, draw the shoulder blades apart. Deep breath in to open, deep breath out to round. Inhale to expand, exhale to contract, really rock back onto the sit bones. Two more times, fill the lungs, lift the chest and empty the lungs round the spine. Last one, take your deepest breath in yet, exhale, let everything go. Inhale, come back to neutral, stack the head over the heart, over the hips. Maybe without using the hands to help you, switch the cross of the legs so the opposite leg is in front. Inhale to lift up. Exhale, take a side stretch over to the right hand side, working the right shoulder away from the ear, dipping the elbow in the direction of the earth, trying to keep nice space across the chest. So notice if you're collapsing and rounding like this, can you find a bit more lift and opening? One more inhale here. And one more exhale. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale, take it over to the other side. Send some big deep breaths into the right side of the body. Trying to keep the right sit bone grounded into the earth. So notice if it's lifting up. One more big breath in and one more big breath out. Inhale back through center, exhale, release the hands, bring them to interlace in front of you this time. Take some circles with those wrists going in one direction and then switch direction, the direction that feels a bit weird and then start to make some waves. Wavy baby <laughs> and then switch directions. Press the palms away from you, reach them up to the sky Inhale, exhale, inhale here, exhale, side bend over to the right. Inhale back through center, exhale over to the left. Inhale through center, exhale, plant the hands at the top of the mat, uncross the ankles, tabletop position. Start to rock the weight forwards and backwards, stretching out through the wrists here spreading through the fingers so you can see a little bit of the mat in between each finger. Turn the fingers out to the side, start to rock the weight from left to right. Turn the fingers to face towards you, shift the weight forwards and backwards, maybe lifting the heels of the hands as you come back. And plant those hands back in tabletop position. Tuck under the toes, lift the knees to hover just a few inches off the mat. Ground down through the left hand, try and keep the spine just as flat and just as long as you reach the right arm up towards the sky. And then place the right hand back down. Inhale, sweep the left arm up. Exhale, place it back down. Inhale over to the right. Exhale down. Inhale to the left. Exhale down, one more each side, inhale right arm up, exhale down, last time breathing into the left, exhale down, drop the knees, give the hips a little wiggle, take a big deep breath, keep the left hand where it is, extend the right arm towards the top of the mat, lower the left forearm down for a half puppy pose. Maybe have a little wiggle through the hips, through the chest. Slide the right hand back under the right shoulder, extend the left arm out long, lower the right elbow down. Mm -hmm. 
This time extend the right arm to meet the left, coming into full puppy pose. Ground down through both forearms, both elbows. Keeping the elbows grounded, start to lower the thighs and the hips down towards the earth. Sphinx pose. Keep the elbows grounded, slide the hips back up. Puppy pose. Keep sliding backwards and forwards, dropping it down to Sphinx as you breathe in and pressing it back up to puppy pose as you breathe out. Two more times, inhale, exhale, keeping the knees grounded the whole time. Last one, inhale, exhale, puppy pose. This time, inhale forward to sphinx, hold here for a few breaths, pressing the floor away with the forearms, gaze straight ahead, look back over the right shoulder, back towards the right heel, Come back through centre, back over the left shoulder, back towards the left heel, and then back through centre. Draw the right heel in towards the right glute, start to reach the right hand around for that foot, draw it in towards the glute, stretching through the quad. Keep the grip on the foot, start to lift the left elbow off the mat. Maybe you can stay lifted and reach the left arm towards the front of the room. A little bit of spine strength here, maybe lift the left foot to hover. And then release, come back to your Sphinx Pose, second side, left heel into the glute, left hand grabs the foot, hold here for an extra moment, maybe lift the right elbow off the mat, maybe reach the right arm towards the front of the room and lift the right foot, breathe, and release everything back down. Keep the forearms grounded on the earth, tuck under the toes, Lift the hips so you're in a forearm plank. Pressing the floor away with the forearms. Gazing down in between the elbows to find some length through the back of the neck. Keeping the arms just as they are. Start to lower the chest down towards the earth and then press it back up. So drawing the shoulder blades together and then drawing them apart for some scapular push-ups. Let's go for 10. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep the arms grounded, dip the left hip down towards the earth, roll onto the outside edge of the left foot, come back through centre, dip the right hip down, come back through centre, take it over to the left. Back through center, over to the right. Back through center, last time to the left. Back through center, last time to the right. Back through center. This time keep the left hip lifted as you roll onto the outside edge of the left foot and reach the right arm up towards the sky for a forearm side plank. Inhale here, exhale elbow to knee. Inhale, reach everything out long. Exhale, squeeze it in. One more time, inhaling. Exhale, squeeze everything in. This time, inhale to extend and then step the right foot off the left edge of the mat, coming into a wild thing but on our forearm. Inhale. Exhale, spin back to your forearm plank. Roll onto the outside edge of the right foot, sweep the left arm up towards the sky. Whoop, fashy stasana. Second side, inhale, exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach long, exhale, squeeze it in. One more time, big breath in, big breath out. This time, inhale to extend and then step the left foot off the mat, sweep the left arm up and over for a baby wild thing. Big breath in, big breath out, forearm plank. Can you ground down through the hands and then maybe lift both elbows at the same time? Coming into a hollow plank, start to walk the feet even further towards the back of the mat, start to walk the hands even further towards the front of the mat, looking kind of like Superman. Inhale, exhale, ground down through the left toes, lift the right leg to hover, hold here. Place it back down. Lift the left leg to hover. Hold here. Place it back down. Extend the right arm straight out towards the front of the room. Place it back down. And do the same with the left. 
place it back down. Walk the hands so they're underneath the shoulders, send the hips up towards the sky, downward facing dog. Any movements that feel good in your first downward facing dog, you are very welcome to take those now. So have a little moment of free time to just play around and find what feels good. Bring the hands so they're as wide as the mat, finding space across the chest and then find a bit of a bounce through the shoulders, bouncing the chest back towards the thighs, opening through the chest, the shoulders for five, four, three, two, one. Bring the hands back at shoulder width apart. Inhale, come up onto the toes, lift the heels. Exhale, drop both heels over to the left hand side. Press the chest back towards the thighs. Breathe into the right side of the body. And then come back through center. Up onto the tiptoes as you breathe in. Drop the heels over to the right as you breathe out. Inhale back through center, exhale, drop the heels down. Inhale, sweep the right leg up towards the sky, open the hip, bend the knee, start to take some big circles with that right knee. Switch direction of the circles. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee to right elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee to left elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose, hold here. Tap the knee to the earth, back to the nose. To the mat, to the nose, to the mat, to the nose, to the mat, to the nose. Step that foot through in between the hands. Spin the back heel down onto the earth, front heel in line with back arch. Spin yourself up, warrior two, on the right leg. Take a moment here to settle in to your warrior two, bending deeply into that front leg, spreading the arms, sending energy out through the fingertips, stacking the head over the heart, over the hips. On your next breath in, come into reverse warrior, sweep the right arm up and over, sweep the left arm across the front of the body, reaching it towards that right knee, and on your next exhale, side angle. Sweep the right arm across the front of the body, reach the left arm up and over, so crisscrossing the arms. Inhale, find the reverse. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, take it back. Exhale, take it forwards. This time, inhale, come into reverse warrior. Lift the heel of the front foot, Coming onto the tiptoes of the right foot. Inhale. Exhale here. One more deep breath in. And on your next breath out, keep the heel lifted as you spin back into side angle. Reach that left arm forward. Maybe bring the right hand onto the left thigh. Now drop that right heel down, start to slide the right arm underneath the right leg, reach the left arm out behind, coming into a bind around that right leg. Rolling that left shoulder open, imagine like you could shine the chest up towards the sky. Inhale. As you exhale, start to straighten that front leg, coming into a bound triangle. Can you think about lengthening through both sides of the waist, drawing the heart towards the front of the room as you push the hips back? Inhale. Exhale, get really heavy through that right foot. Now maybe take one step, maybe take two steps, maybe take 10 steps as you ground down through the right foot and then start to lift the left leg off the mat, coming into a bound half moon. You might need to slide the hands so they're right underneath your groin. Extend that left leg out long, flex that left foot. Gaze down, gaze up, gaze wherever you fancy. Inhale. Exhale, release the bind. Bring the right hand to hover, reach the left arm up towards the sky, half moon. Reach the left hand down towards the earth, sweep the right arm up towards the sky, revolved half moon. 
Parivrita, Ada Chandrasana. Maybe bend that left heel in and grab hold of the left foot with the right hand and start to kick that foot up towards the sky with the left hand still hovering. Release the grip on the foot, extend it out long. Take a big step back with the left foot, landing in a revolved crescent lunge. Upper body twisted to the right hand side, stack head over heart over hips. Inhale, find the reverse, sweeping the left arm up and over. Right hand meets the left leg. Lift the heel of the front foot for just a moment, finding the balance. Inhale. Exhale. Big transition, unwind all the way into Skandhasana on the left leg at the back of the mat. So left knee is bent, right toes point up towards the sky. Bring the hands to heart center. And then sweep the left arm down, reach the right arm up. Maybe find the bind around the back of that left leg. Spiraling the heart up towards the sky. If you've got the bind, release it. Sit yourself down on the mat. Bring the right hand onto the left ankle. Sweep the left arm up and over for that right foot. Big stretch through the left side of the body here, which will be much needed for our compass pose. If your chest is collapsing down towards the earth, can you think about spiraling it up towards the sky like you've got a big light on your chest and you want to shine it on the ceiling? One more big breath in. And one more big breath out. Use your next inhale to unwind. Bring the hands to heart center. Maybe without lifting the hands, you can press yourself back up to your Skandhasana and then travel all the way into a low lunge at the top of the mat on the right leg. Bring the fingertips to frame the front foot and then step the right foot to meet the left, coming into a plank on the fingertips. Lift the right toes to hover off the mat. Place them back down. Lift the left toes to hover off the mat. Place them back down. Tap the left hand to the right shoulder. Place the left fingertips back down. Tap the right fingertips to the left shoulder. Place them back down. Drop both hands back towards the earth. Shift forward on your next breath in. Lower halfway down on your next breath out. Pull through to up dog or cobra as you inhale. Wave it back to downward facing dog as you exhale. One big deep breath in. And one big deep breath out. Use your next inhale to sweep the left leg up towards the sky. Bend the knee, open the hip, take some big circles with that knee. Switch direction of the circles. Inhale, sweep the leg high. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, over to the right. Inhale, leg to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose and hold. Tap the knee to the earth, to the nose, to the earth, nose, earth, nose, earth, nose. Step the foot through, spin the back heel down. Warrior two, second side. Gazing out over the front fingertips. Grounding down through the outside edge of that right foot, keeping that arch nice and lifted, nice and engaged. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, find the reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse for two. Exhale, side angle. Big breath in, take it back. Big breath out, take it forward for three. Breathe in, reverse. Breathe out, side angle. This time, fill the lungs as you come back to your reverse warrior. Lift the left heel to hover off the mat. Pause here for an extra moment. And keep that heel lifted as you spin forward into your side angle. Drop the heel down, thread the left arm under the left thigh, bring the right hand to meet it, coming into a bound side angle. 
Again, drawing the right shoulder away from the right ear, finding space across the chest. Keep the bind as you start to straighten that left leg, coming into a bound triangle. Length and lift through the waist. Maybe take one, two, ten, a hundred steps to get there, launching into a bound half moon on the left leg. Trying not to crash into the wall in front of me. Again, shift the position of the hands if you need to, fall out of it and come back in, just like I just did, because I'm a yoga teacher, but I'm still a human. Release the bind, bring the left fingertips to hover, reach the right arm up towards the sky. Bring the right hand down to hover, reach the left arm up towards the sky. Maybe bend the right heel in towards the glute and grab hold of it with the left hand and find a bit of a kick. Release the grip on the foot, keep the upper body twisted to the left as you step the right foot back and come into a revolved crescent lunge head over heart over hips for now and then find the reverse sweep the right arm up and over lift the left heel off the mat big breath in feel into the wobbles and then breathe out spin all the way into skandhasana on the right leg at the back of the mat point the left toes up to the sky sweep the right arm down reach the left arm up Maybe find the bind around the back of that right leg. Sit yourself down on the earth. Left hand grabs the right ankle. Right arm reaches up and over and then use that grip to really help you deepen the stretch in the right side of the body. Settling in here for some really, really big deep breaths. One more big inhale and one full complete exhale. Lift yourself back up, hands to heart center, maybe without using the hands, you lift the hips back to Skandasana and then travel all the way into a low lunge on the left leg, fingertips to the earth, left foot meets the right into your plank pose. Right toes hover off the mat, place them back down. Left toes hover off the mat, place them back down, right hand taps left shoulder, place it back down, left hand taps right shoulder, place it back down, ground down through the hands, inhale, come forward, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, Urdhva Mukha Shivanasana, exhale, Adho Mukha Shivanasana, downward facing dog, big breath in, big breath out, Drop the right forearm down towards the mat so you're in a half downward dog, half dolphin. Maybe start to lift the left toes to hover off the mat and sweep them all the way up towards the sky. And then place the left hand back down as you lift the right elbow up. Drop the left elbow down, half dolphin. Maybe sweep the right leg up towards the sky. And then right foot lowers, left elbow lifts, downward facing dog. Start to bend the knees, press the chest back towards the thighs, knees are hovering off the mat, and then take 10 little bunny hops. So pressing back and then lifting the heels in towards the glutes as you hop up towards the sky. Maybe you can hold it. So just take your 10, take as much time as you need. Maybe take a little break in between. Once you've done your 10, you might find the jump through to seated or you might just come and meet me sat down or on your mat. So once you've done your 10, either step, hop, float through to a seat coming to sit down on your bum 
Plant the soles of the feet on the earth, knees point up to the sky, lift the feet to hover, wrap the arms around the shins, drop the elbows, drop the elbows, can't speak today guys, I know I say it in every class but today I can't speak, drop the forehead onto the knees, have a few deep breaths. Bring opposite hands onto the outside edges of opposite feet. Start to straighten the legs up towards the sky so the elbows are crossed. A little funky boat pose. Inhale here. Exhale, release the grip of the hands but keep the legs lifted. Keep the chest lifted, not collapsing through the shoulders. Inhale. Exhale, low boat. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, take it down. Big breath in, big breath out. Last time, inhale back up. Exhale, lower and hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Roll onto your back, cross over the ankles, rock yourself forwards, plant the hands, work through a vinyasa. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Now we're going to work through that same sequence, but take it a little bit faster now that you're familiar with it. So inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right elbow. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, left elbow. Big breath in, reach high. Big breath out, knee to nose. This time, step it straight through, warrior two. Windmill your way up. Inhale, find the reverse. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, take it back. Exhale, take it forward. One more this time. Inhale, find the reverse. Lift the front heel. Exhale, side angle with the heel lifted. Drop the heel down. Find the bind underneath the leg. Straighten the leg for a bound triangle. And then step onto that foot. Take as many steps as you need. Bound half moon. Release the bind, right hand down, left arm up, and then left hand down, right arm up. Bend the left heel in, grab the foot for a moment, kick it up, and then release the foot as you take a big step back into your evolved crescent. Inhale, find the reverse, lift the front heel, exhale, skandhasana, bending into the left knee. This time, take it straight forward into your low lunge on the right leg and work straight through a vinyasa. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, sweep the left leg high. Exhale, tap the left elbow. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, take it across. Fill the lungs, stretch the leg high. Empty the lungs, step it through, warrior two. Find your alignment, then inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, take it back. Exhale, take it forwards. Last big breath in to reverse, lift the front heel. Last big breath out, take it to side angle. Drop that heel down, find the bind around the leg. Straighten the front leg to triangle. Step onto the left foot, bound half moon. Release the bind, half moon. Right hand down, left arm up, twist. Right heel in, find the grip, kick. Release the grip, step it back, revolved crescent. Reverse, lift the heel, find your presence. Spin onto the right leg, skandhasana. Back to the front of the mat, low lunge. Step it back to plank, lower through your vinyasa. Fill the lungs, upward dog, empty the lungs, downward facing dog. Drop the right elbow down, sweep the left leg up towards the sky. Drop the left foot, lift the right elbow, reset. Left elbow down, right leg up, right foot down, left elbow lifts. Ten bunny hops, taking as much time as you need.
once you've done your 10 again like I say no rush step hop float jump your way through to seated no call work this time but we do have our, have our first foray into compass pose so come to sit down catch your breath take a few deep breaths like me breathing is a challenge right now when I'm trying to teach and speak and breathe all at the same time <laughs> start to bend the left knee the left heel comes in towards the groin plant the sole of the right foot underneath the right knee start to thread the right arm underneath the right knee plant the palm on the earth on the outside of the right foot bring the left hand to the outside of the right foot the pinky toe side and then start to lift and straighten the right leg up towards the sky gaze underneath the left shoulder the left armpit the left elbow spinning the chest towards the left hand side maybe you lift that right hip off the mat to help you lift that leg even higher up to the sky maybe come up onto the right fingertips big breath in big breath out now start to hook the right leg on the back of the right arm as high up as it will go all the way up towards the shoulder start to extend the left leg straight out in front of you ground down through the hands press the floor away lift the hips balanced elephant pointing both toes little challenge can you tap the left knee towards the earth and then extend it straight out in front bend the knee point the toes towards the back of the room extend that leg out long one more time extend it out long and then cross the left ankle over the top of the right shoot the legs towards the right hand side for eight angle astavakrasana come back through center start to unwind the legs but keep squeezing them around that right forearm so the knees are on either side of the right forearm squeezing everything in hold here for an extra second and then sit yourself down release give the arms a little shake catch your breath breathe just take a moment in silence and stillness let everything reset again swing both legs out in front of you this time we plant the sole of the left foot as the right heel comes in towards the groin bring the left arm underneath the left leg plant that hand on the earth bring the right hand to the pinky toe side of the left foot start to straighten that leg up towards the sky gaze to the right hand side big breaths into the right side of the body and then come back through center hook that left leg as high as it will go on the back of the left arm extend the right leg straight out in front of you ground down through the hands point the toes lift the hips off the mat balanced elephant start to point the right toes towards the back of the mat tap that right knee down and then extend it straight out in front two more last one extend that leg out in front then cross the right ankle over the left shoot the legs out to astavakrasana and then when you come back through center maybe squeeze the legs around that left forearm and then sit yourself down once again take a little moment to reset take a few deep breaths Now just take a little moment to give our forearms a little bit of love before we move on to our next little bit of fun so come to sit on the heels if you're not already bring the knees wide bring the left forearm down towards the earth and then start to give that left forearm a little massage with the right elbow and then bring the right forearm down give that a little massage with the left elbow
and then release plant the hands at the top of the mat step it back to plank work through the vinyasa inhale up dog or cobra exhale downward facing dog bend into the knees press the chest back towards the thighs and then take a big step hop float all the way to a forward fold at the top of the mat have a little moment here bending and straightening one leg at a time having a little wiggle inhale halfway lift exhale come all the way up to standing inhale sweep the arms up exhale bring the hands to interlace around the back of the head inhale open the heart take a little back bend exhale chin into chest round the spine two more inhaling to open exhaling to round last one big breath in big breath out inhale come back to neutral exhale take a side bend over to the right inhale back through center exhale side bend over to the left inhale back through center exhale release the hands down by your side bend the knees so deeply that you can graze the floor with your fingertips and then sweep the arms up towards the sky chair pose come up onto your tiptoes lift the heels high hold here ground down through the right ball of the foot still on the tiptoe start to draw the left heel in towards the left glute for a one-legged balance chair maybe keep on the tiptoes as you come up to standing and hug the left knee in towards the chest and then drop the right heel down kick the left leg out behind you left hand to the inside edge of the left foot kick the foot up towards the sky dance a pose big breath in as you breathe out maybe start to lower the right hand down towards the earth as you still kick that left foot up towards the sky for sugar cane option to bring the hand to the outside edge of that foot if that feels better release the grip on the left foot extend that leg straight out behind you lift the right hand to hover half moon and take a big step back with the left foot landing in a reverse triangle so straightening the right leg reaching the right arm up and over inhale exhale triangle bringing the right hand to the inside edge of the right foot reaching the left arm up towards the sky big breath in big breath out to bring the left hand down towards the earth sweep the right arm up towards the sky revolve triangle spin onto the outside edges of both feet drop the left hip down towards the earth revolve skandasana inhale lift the hips sweep the right arm forward exhale drop the hips down cactus the elbow in towards the ribs inhale to lift exhale drop it down one more time big breath in big breath out now this time inhale lift step the right foot to meet the left coming into a side plank start to draw the right knee in towards the armpit bring the two peace fingers and thumb to interlace around the right big toe start to kick that leg up towards the sky and then with the grip on the foot deliver the foot to the top of the mat spin the left heel down towards the earth landing in side angle sweep the left arm towards the front of the room start to shimmy the right shoulder underneath the right knee bring the right hand to the outside of the right foot bring the left hand to hold on to the outside edge of that right foot and then start to straighten the right leg towards the front of the mat compass pose so this is our flying compass big breath in and then start to wrap that right knee around the front of the right forearm lift the left toes to hover off the mat for a flying lizard step the left toes back unwind the right leg land in a chaturanga inhale up dog or cobra exhale downward facing dog big breath in big breath out inhale press it back exhale hop it forwards inhale halfway lift exhale come all the way up to standing inhale sweep the arms up exhale interlace behind the back of the neck 
Inhale to open. Exhale to round. Inhale, center. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, center. Exhale, other side. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, hands by your side. Bend the knees, graze the floor with the fingertips. Sweep the arms up for chair pose. Come onto your tiptoes, lift the heels. Draw the right heel in towards the right glute. Come up to standing, still on the tiptoes. Drop the heel down, bring the right hand to the big toe side of the right foot. Kick the leg up towards the sky for dancer. Start to lower the chest down towards the earth. Left hand down, maybe switch the grip so that hand is on the outside edge of the foot. Kick it up towards the sky for sugar cane. Release the grip, reach the right arm up, bring the left hand to hover half moon and then take a big step back landing in a reverse triangle sweep the left arm up and over as you inhale and come into triangle as you exhale left hand under left shoulder right arm sweeping up and then bring the right hand down sweep the left arm up inhale exhale revolve skandasana drop the right hip down spin onto the outside edges of the feet Inhale, lift and reach. Exhale, lower. Two more times. Big breath in and big breath out. Last one to inhale. Exhale, soften it down. This time, inhale to lift. Exhale, step the left foot to meet the right. Vashistasana, side plank. Draw the left knee in towards the left armpit. Bring the hands or the fingers around that big toe, start to kick the leg up towards the sky. And then deliver that foot to the top of the mat, spin the back heel down, plant the left hand, side angle, reaching the right arm forwards. Shimmy the left shoulder under the left knee, plant the hand on the outside of that foot, and then bring the right hand to grab hold of the outside edge of the left foot and start to extend that leg towards the front of the mat, gazing under the right shoulder. Release the grip on the foot, but keep that left knee wrapping around the front of the left forearm. Lift the right toes to hover for flying lizard. Step the right toes back, unwind the right leg into chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big breath in. Big breath out. Two more like that. Inhale. Exhale. Last time breathing in. Last time breathing out. Inhale, come up onto the toes, bend the knees, step, hop, jump, float, all the way into your fold at the top of the mat and hang out here for a few more deep breaths. Finding movement, finding stillness, finding whatever feels good. Now inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, come all the way up to standing. Ground down through the right leg. Draw the left knee up and in towards the chest. Now option here is to bring the hands to interlace around the sole of the left foot and start to straighten that left leg straight out in front of you or working the knee in towards the face. Option number two is to thread the left arm Underleaf, underleaf, underneath the left knee, bring the right hand to the outside edge of the left foot and then start to straighten that left leg up towards the sky, spinning the heart through. This is one that does not come easily to me and I'm going to go over to my friend the wall for a little bit of support. So if you've got a wall nearby, it's a good option. You can bring that bottom arm onto the wall to help you find your balance as you pull the leg up and over. Release the grip on the foot, but keep the left leg wrapped over the top of the left arm as you start to lower yourself down into a malasana, still with that arm under the leg, and then have a little wiggle, giving the arm and that forearm a little bit of a massage using the left leg. Release that arm, bring both hands to heart center in your malasana, have a little wiggle from side to side. 
and then without using the hands press yourself all the way up to standing coming onto the second side so this time ground down through the left leg draw the right knee up and in towards the chest maybe you go for option one which is falling over now option one is interlacing the hands underneath the right foot kicking that leg out and then up working the knee in towards the face or maybe you go for option two using a wall for a bit of support maybe thread the right arm underneath the right knee bring the left hand onto the outside edge of the right foot and then start to kick that right leg up towards the sky if you are at the wall maybe play around just taking a single second to release and then falling <laughs> Again, if you took that option, once you've had a few moments there, keep the right arm underneath that right knee as you start to lower into a malasana and give that right arm a little bit of a massage. Unwind that right arm, both hands come through heart centre, little bit of mobility here, release the elbows from the knees, tap the right knee over towards the left big toe, come back through centre, take it over to the other side, back through centre, right to the left, take it back, left to the right, take it back, one more each side. And then bring it back down, sit yourself down on the earth. Extend both legs straight out in front of you. Give them a little wiggle, a little shimmy. Roll the shoulders away from the ears. Lift up through both sides of the waist. Plant the soles of both feet on the earth. Bring the arms out behind you. Fingertips pointing forwards as you inhale. Lift the hips, draw the shoulder blades together. Exhale, swing the hips in between the hands. Inhale to lift, exhale to swing it through. One more time, inhaling to lift and exhaling to swing it through. And this time, maybe you lift the feet to hover and maybe hold for a few seconds and then sit yourself back down. Just have a little moment, play around, see what happens, have a bit of fun and laugh at yourself if you fall over like I have done many times throughout this class. Just like we did before, hug both knees into the chest, wrap the arms around the shins, drop the forehead down. Cross over the ankles, bring the hands onto the outside edges of the opposite foot. Start to rock yourself forwards and backwards, trying not to hit the wall behind you like I am. And eventually, working through a vinyasa. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, sweep the right leg high. Exhale, right knee to the right wrist, right heel to the left hip. Pigeon pose. Yes, the time has finally come for us to chill out in our pigeon. Start to melt the heart down over that front leg and we're gonna hold here for two long, juicy minutes. one minute left feel whatever you're feeling breathe into it
Draw yourself back up as you draw your next breath in. Ground down through the hands, tuck under the back toes, lift the back knee, draw the right knee in towards the nose and then step that foot through into a low lunge. Drop the back knee back down and then either come into half splits or start to shimmy that right leg out straight in front, coming into full splits or whatever version of it you are working with right now. So maybe popping blocks under the hands, maybe staying lifted. If you're in full splits, the option is to start to bend the back knee in, bring the left hand towards the outside edge of the left foot and then spin the elbow up towards the sky, flipping your grip and then maybe bringing the right hand to meet the left for a pigeon split situation. Again, all just options. Take the ones that work for you, leave the ones that don't. Now, if you are in full split, start to fold down over that right leg, bring the hands to interlace around the sole of the right foot, and then start to roll over to the right hand side, rolling onto your back, bringing the right leg with you, bringing it in towards your face, and then bring the left hand to the outside edge of the right foot, bring the right hand underneath the right knee, and then start to shimmy that leg underneath the shoulder, behind your head, coming into a reclined compass. using that right elbow to help push the right leg down towards the earth. And if you've got it behind the head, bring it back in front of you, bring the hands to interlace back under the sole of the foot and then reverse the way you came, rolling back into the splits. Not very elegant and that was my mat squeaking, not me. Now, option to get out of it by bringing the hands into fists, placing them either side of the hips, pressing up, lifting the back knee and the front knee, keeping that right leg straight as you slide it back into a downward dog and then plant those hands back on the earth. Inhale, sweep the left leg up to the sky. Exhale, left knee to the left wrist, left heel to right hip. Ekapadaraja Kapotasana, second side. And again, settling in for two minutes here. Just noticing whatever is present for you on this side, knowing that this side might feel different from the other side. So just take it to the edge of the stretch in your body, on this side, on this day. One minute left. Any tension you're holding on to, can you soften and release and let go for these last few moments? You're wondering what I'm looking at. I'm looking at my clock, so I know how long we've got left. 
And there we go, two minutes. Press yourself back up onto the hands, lift the back knee, left knee into the nose, step it through into low lunge, and then either come into Ardha Hanumanasana or full Hanumanasana splits pose. This is definitely my tighter side, so if you've got one side that feels more or less open than the other, then just be mindful of that, just taking it to your edge on this side. Either stay in splits, stay in half splits, or start to melt the heart down over the leg, interlace the hands around the sole of the left foot, roll off the mat to the left hand side, bringing that leg with you. Hopefully you can still see me. Maybe just keep drawing that leg into the face or maybe bring the right hand to the outside edge of the left foot, tuck the left arm under the left knee and then straighten that leg out behind your head. This is our last compass variation of the day. So we did seated compass, standing compass, flying compass, and now supine. You'll have to let me know in the comments which one was your favorite. Reversing ourselves back out, so bringing the hands to interlace around the sole of that foot if they're not already, straightening it up and overhead, rolling over to the right hand side, whoop, landing back in splits, maybe elegantly, maybe not, and then bring the fist, the hands into fists underneath the shoulders, maybe keep the left leg straight as you slide it back into your down dog, plant the hands and then drop the knees, bring them as wide as the mat, big toes touch, Shimmy the hips back towards the heels for child's pose. Draw yourself back up as you draw your next breath in. Swing the legs straight out in front of you. Plant the soles of the feet on the earth, knees point up, fingertips out long. Slowly lower down onto your back and then hug the knees into the chest. Have a little wiggle from side to side. Maybe move the knees around in circles. With every inhale, can you fill the belly with so much breath that the legs are pressed up and away from you? And then can you release all of that breath so the knees melt back in towards you? Now have two minutes of free time to do anything that you would like. So what do you need that will help you step away from this practice feeling happy, content, fulfilled? like you got from it, what you needed from it. So any other movements, you can totally head straight into Shavasana if that is what is calling to you, but have some free time. What does your body need right now? Got one minute left of your free time.
eventually starting to make your way towards your final resting shape. So Shavasana, the usual shape with the legs out long and the arms by your sides, or maybe you bring the feet into a butterfly shape or constructive rest. Maybe you grab a blanket, a bolster, some blocks, anything that will help you feel comfortable and settled in for a few moments of stillness. Take a moment to tuck the chin into the chest, finding some length down the back of the neck. Shimmy the shoulder blades towards one another, finding space across the chest. Lengthen the tailbone down towards the heels, finding space across the lower back. And then just release any need to control the body. Just let be what is. Melt, soften, surrender into the here and the now. No need to control the body. And let go of any need to control the breath. Let it flow however it wants to flow. Let it go wherever it wants to go. Letting it be soft and smooth. Finally, no need to control the mind. Whatever is present in your mind right now, again, just let be what is. What you resist persists and what you embrace, you move through with grace. So... Any feelings, any thoughts, just let them exist. Let them drift by. One breath at a time, one thought at a time, one heartbeat at a time. And knowing that this stillness is just as valuable as the movement. It's like the yoga class is like climbing up to the top of a mountain and then the Shavasana is staying at the top for a while, enjoying the view, letting that achievement sink in before we slowly make our way back down to earth. Not just making it to the top and then jumping straight back into reality and not enjoying the fruits of our efforts. So really surrender and gift yourself this time to be still and silent.
wherever your awareness has drifted away to, just gently guide it back into your breath, wherever the breath is most noticeable and let the awareness reside there for a few moments. Now start to let that awareness permeate and dissipate and dissolve throughout the rest of the body. Noticing the parts of the body that are connected to the earth. Noticing the feeling of the clothing on your skin, the air around you, the space where the body ends and where the air begins. Noticing the temperature, the humidity of the air any sounds in the room around you, the, just the feeling of being present in your space. Slowly bringing the awareness into the hands, feeling a warmth, a tingling, a fizzing there, and then start to wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes, make some circles with the ankles and the wrists. Starting off slow and gentle, Eventually making the movements a bit bigger, maybe working towards a big full body stretch overhead. Maybe roll onto one side and spend a few moments there, letting everything settle. Eventually working your way back up to a comfortable seated position, keeping the eyes closed for these last few moments if that's comfortable for you. And picking a word for how you would like to move through your day. So maybe that is presence, peacefulness, patience, kindness, warmth, compassion, generosity, gratitude, love. Pick that word and tuck it away in the back of your mind and carry it with you today. Today I hope that you think peaceful thoughts, I hope that you speak peaceful words and I hope that you feel peace in your heart. Thank you so much for choosing to share your practice with me today. I am so grateful to have had you with me. I really hope you enjoyed this class. If you did, I would be really happy if you could take a second to like this video so I know you enjoyed it. Leave a comment letting me know what you thought of it. Subscribe so that you never miss a class from me and come say hi on Instagram as well. Hopefully I will see you again very soon and hopefully you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.